first stream in a while that I've uh, done done on this channel. It's been too long coming, and hopefully, 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 that's it. Maybe I'll should I move that right there? Down the centre. Yeah, that's better. Hopefully, it will be a good one. It'll be a successful one, and I do hope you join in. One quick thing: um, if you do make a comment or say hi or whatever, and I don't respond straight away, please don't think I'm ignoring you. Chances are I'm probably just getting too much into the drawing to um, to notice. So do bear with me. I will try my best to um, excuse me keep. Oh, sorry, I've got a bit of a bit of gas to keep in touch, keep on top of all the all the comments and everything else. But um, but yeah, hope you enjoy today's stream. As I probably mentioned, let me just make sure this page looks good. I'm going to be doing today. I should have turned the camera up there. Never mind. Um, I'm going to be doing a a special piece for this guy, the um, Kirk Kirk Ross uh, Kirk Douglas, who sadly uh, uh, passed away about I say about a week or so ago. Um, somebody that I grew up with as I was younger uh, had a lot of respect for him in terms of his you know his uh, career. He had a lot of charisma in his in his movies, and probably one of my personal favourites is actually the Vikings, um, which I believe he was in. If I'm if I'm wrong, let me know. But I believe he was in the Vikings as well. But he's he's probably best known for Spartacus and a few other films as well. So today I'm going to attempt to do this um, for the art stream. Oh, why is this all wobbly? There we are. So I'm going to attempt to do this picture today. And we will see how we get on. So without further ado, let's let's get cooking. But I say feel free to, to come in, jump in, say hi, whatever. Uh, love to hear from you. Yeah, sorry about I was late. Um I had a I had a few issues trying to get things working on um, on the stream, getting the actual technology all to work. And annoyingly, just as I was got it got it to work, it decided to not work, which is frustrating, to say the, to say the least. So, um, but I managed to get it get it in the end. So, uh, all all's all's good in the end, in the grand scheme of things. Now, talking of that, this camera's decided to stop working. One second, one second. Oh, hang on, I know why. I know why. I know why. Some reason I've got it turned off. There we go. So should hopefully now see the camera. Let me know. I'm just going to wait a few seconds just for YouTube to catch up, so I know you can see it. Once I know you can see it, I can carry on. Do 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 do. I'm pleased that I finally got YouTube to actually work though, because that was one thing that was bugging me a bit, is that I couldn't get YouTube to actually do its thing, which was a little on the frustrating side, to say the least. I say that a lot, don't I? <laughs> right, it's still not showing the picture to you guys at the minute, I don't know why. Um, sorry about this, folks. So I was just waiting for it, I want to make sure you can see it before I start doing any work. Right, okay, it looks like you're there now. Okay, um, I'm also trying to find my logo, which I haven't got on there. Sorry about this. Oh. There we go. There you go. There you go. Right, so let's get going. So um yeah, I just had a few issues with trying to get it going. We'll say as soon as I turned on the um 
the camera to start streaming, it decided it didn't want to work. Um, you know, the top head, top down camera just didn't want to play ball. Um, but as I say, on a, on a positive note, I finally managed to get the, uh, the second camera working. So now I've got my face cam and the overhead camera. So I just hope the stream is smooth enough and it can handle it, because it hasn't in the past. So uh, we'll see how we get on. Right, so first thing I'm going to do on this is just place everything. Now I've got to try and be careful that, I could, that he fits in all the way. So this is extremely rough. And you probably can't see nothing just yet. Because I have a tendency when I'm doing these things to draw it too big and then I find I've got no space and I'm to squash it. So I'm trying not to squash this picture. I'm trying to fit it into the actual piece. being severely light. I also try not to detail anything out yet because I want to make sure that everything's where it needs to be first before I start putting any kind of emphasis on anything. I know you can't see much yet, but hopefully you'll see it fairly soon. But just laying down the laying down the basics. Okay. Um, mm, 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 mm. I'm going to get a bit of better lighting at some stage, but it's just not not quite there yet. All these things, unfortunately, do cost a bit of cash. Uh, I haven't quite got the money to get a full setup yet, but a bit over time I will get it. Right, so I think I've got the basic body shape of this guy. So, so again, without going too heavy, I'm just heavying the lines just a little bit, just to make sure. So his neck is there-ish. See his chest bit there. The challenging part is going to be doing the face. The body's not so difficult these days, but doing it, doing his face is going to be the toughest part. In fact, I need to probably bring his head down a little bit. He's kind of angled a bit. In fact, his arms just come kind of a bit further than what I've done it. Adding a bit of shape on it. I'm trying not to put too much shape because I may need to move it or whatever. But this is just to make sure that I get everything as proportionally correct as I can. And so I'm not putting any details yet, but just putting just putting all the sh basic shapes in there. hand is maybe a bit large so perhaps need to shorten the hand a bit I 
I don't, so I don't know how much you can see just yet. So let me shrink my camera down. It's a bit bit large, isn't it? Um, let me just make that two smaller. Let me shift it up here instead. Because I realise it's slightly in the way. Oh, I need to change the title. Can I change the title? Live in action. Do apologise. I forgot I need to do need to change that. Will it let me edit the title? Probably won't. <laughs> once once you lie. Oh actually maybe it will. Maybe it will. Okay, drawing. Oops. Drawing. Spart the cus. Dun 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 So if I go back Do a quick refresh Oh there we go, it's got the name Yay, I've never done that before First time, live, live editing, how about that? But yeah, if you have a YouTube account Feel free to say hi in chat Love, would love to hear from you um, and do bear with me if I don't respond straight away um, I will try to keep up with chat as best I can so do bear with me with that okay so well good news is I've, I've got this paper in front of me on, on here so uh, hopefully I should be able to see you commenting right now this is where it, this is where it gets a little tricky because I want to kind of go in and, and add a bit of detail. I want to make sure that it's all in the right place. And it's got the active action, active pose that I'm looking for. Yeah, his head's too big. Definitely too big. So let's try and shrink the head a little bit. I mean, he does have quite a big head, in, to be fair, but I just want it fit to fit with the picture as best as I can. Just try and bring the chin down a bit more. One thing about um, Kirk Douglas, which I don't think his son has, he has a cleft chin. Where he's got like a little dimple right at the bottom of his chin, which I don't, so I don't think Michael Douglas has that. I don't think he's he's um, what's it called it? What's the word? Inherited that from his dad. I don't think he's inherited that key feature. See now I'm trying to I'm just trying to get that pose because he's obviously got. You know, he's, his mouth is about here roughly, and he's looking, he's kind of looking down a little bit. So I'm trying to get that element, but there's a slight slant to the way he's standing. my eraser. Try and remove some of these bits. If I get rid of them now, then it's less to worry about later. And if I need to re-add them in, it'd be easy to see if I need to bring them in. Do 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 do. So I'm just trying to get this 
Amo. Accurate is forward. Accurate is again, get it. I'm sort of seeing where the fingers probably should go now. So they kind of go in there. He's got his kind of covering over his hand a little bit. part of the sword. I'm not quite sure what the sword looks like so I haven't got enough vision of that at the minute. So we're not doing the whole sword anyway. Oh this is coming along I think. So I wonder what um how many of you out there who are watching this uh, remember Kirk Douglas? Do, have you ever watched any of his films? And you don't necessarily have to be from the, you know, from when he, you know, from that era, to have seen any movies because you know those films are out. They've been out for many years. So um, you know you might have seen it with your dad, your mum even, um, or at some point in your life, you know, saw, saw it on a YouTube channel. Thought, oh, what's that? You know, I know a lot of lot of kids that um, that have watched things from from the past. You know, old shows from the old shows or music from the past. So it's it's not strictly that it's only the the older people. You know, us oldies, <laughs> so to speak, that that watch these things. Some youngsters do actually watch these things as well. So it'd be interesting to know. Does anyone does anyone here watching today um, know remember Kirk Douglas? And if so, what, what was your favourite film that he was in? Because I know he's done, what, I think he's done over 100 movies, I believe. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what um, what films, in fact, he's got a thinner face, actually. It's more sharper than I've made him. Uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what kind of films that you remember from him. And what was your favourite? I mean, I believe... Cut me if I'm wrong, but I believe he's even done a, he's even done at least one science fiction film, a uh, film called Saturn Three. I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll, I'll be hundred percent sure, but I'm fairly certain that he did that movie. I'm pretty sure that that was him. I can't help but feel that his head is too high. That's because it is. Okay, so his chest is actually, yeah, his head is way too high. That's why it's not working. I knew there was a reason why it wasn't quite happening, and that was it. As I said in some of my vlogs, um, portraits are not my strong suit, so it takes me a little bit longer to do a portrait than it would to say do a cartoon character or a spaceship or whatever, one of those kind of those kind of things. But um, but this would be a good this is a good a good challenge, and at least with this, I'm kind of I kind of want to do it. You know, when people when I know have asked people have asked for portraits. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm willing to do them, but but if I could avoid them, I would, because <laughs> uh, I'm just not, and it's just because I'm not passionate about. Well, I'm, one, I'm not passionate about portraits, and two, um, I'm not particularly good at portraits. I can do them at, at a pinch. I can really do them, but I can't say that I am particularly 
skilled at them. There are people out there who are far more, who, who've got far far better skills in that regard than I do. Okay, he's starting to sh take shape now. I'm just feeling a little bit more Spartacus-like. Or, you know, posture's starting to feel a little bit more accurate. Now his actual muscles isn't as defined as, it, as you would normally find on Spartacus. So I'm just gonna tone that down a little bit. Just so it matches, because I wanna try and while it's still my drawing and it will still have my elements in it, I still want to kind of keep it <coughs> close to being Mr. Kirk Douglas as possible. I don't know why that big smudge is there, but never mind. But I'm going to try and do this a lot more often. Every Saturday, <coughs> where, where possible, there might be some exceptions, I'm going to try and stream um, some form of art or something else. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, or I think it might have been the last week actually, um, I did the Tron Bikes, I think it was last week actually, I did the Tron Bikes stream and that was fun. That was a lot of fun. And there is something of a similar vein coming soon. <coughs> Excuse me. But it will be far... A far bigger project, but it should be it should be enjoyable. I think it will it will be a lot of fun. So hairline, I'm just making I'm not detailing anything. I'm just putting things on there, placing things on it. So his hairline's kind of kind of here. Okay, so his ears about there as well. And this one's slightly hidden. It's coming along quite well, actually, uh, if I do say so myself. But at least now, at least now the chest is in the right place now, whereas before it wasn't quite in the right in the right spot. Now this one here I think is just too high, so I need to bring it down a little bit. I mean it doesn't matter if this arm goes off page, because it's not there's not much to see anyway on that. I just want to make sure that the base the basics of him is is there. Yeah, he's got a little bit of a, a six pack, not much. One thing I did know, I will say I've noticed, and this may be just me, me I might not be right with this, but you look at the likes of, say, like um, Gerald Butler when he did um, Sp um, the 300. He, you know, although the, there was a little bit of CGI used in that, which is fair enough, but the guys, re the muscles on that were really, really well defined. I mean, really clearly defined muscles on the guy. But these guys who did this sort of film back then, well, they obviously had their muscles. They weren't quite as as evident on these on these chaps. I'm not going to do the pants thing. You know, you've got the pants thing. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm only going to worry about the shoulder thing and his face. That's really all I'm going to focus on. So I'm just getting the body part, the body shape right first before I start adding all the detail. But yeah, but it's just something I've noticed, and, and it's not bad. You know, I'm not criticising like that. <clears throat> but it's just, um, it's just, it's just interesting how much more um, emphasis, shall we say, there is on having, you know, really 
strong, you know, deep, defined muscle tones in actors these days for these sort of films. But but it makes it makes sense. I mean, it does make sense. But um, it wasn't quite such a big a big issue um, in these movie in the, these sort of movies. You know, they weren't quite. You know, in a way, the they were more natural and more likely what it was. Because I think the thing is. When these guys walk around with six packs and stuff like that, they are specifically targeting those areas to build those particular muscles. And correct me if I'm wrong, and I might be wrong, um, they're also done as a way of showing, you know, showing your, your tone or whatever. Don't, I don't think, maybe I'm, again, I may be wrong, a historian could probably tell me different, but it may be that, you know, in... In these cultures, that wasn't an issue. They, they weren't worried about whether they had a six-pack or not. It was all about muscle. It was all about strength. So just because you've got that kind of body doesn't necessarily mean you're necessarily strong. At least I don't think so. But again, I could be wrong. You know, I'm not. I'm not a muscle person, so I don't know. You know, I could be completely incorrect with all of that. Give me just a second. I've just got to go and get my other glasses in a second. I'll just be able to get my proper glasses on. Mr. Magoo's on now. <laughs> Don't know if you remember him. Right. Okay. I know it doesn't look much yet, so I do apologise it doesn't look much yet, but it will. Because if I say, if, this, if the proportions aren't right, and it doesn't look right now, when I add the colour, when I add the detail in later on, I'm gonna I'm gonna regret it so it's really really important that I get this part right first for example this arm feels just a little skinny doesn't feel like it's got a lot that much weight to it but it needs to have that weight Feels a bit more solid. Ding. Okay. Now, the good thing is the head, although it's not, there's no details on it. It is feeling very, in terms of the shape of the head, is feeling very Kirk Douglas, which is good. So that's a good start. So I'm going to try and put. Uh, just a little, just hints of detail, nothing too strenuous. And he does have, so he have a, quite a long bridge of his nose, actually. And he's also got quite a sharp nose as well. So I'm not going to too much on there yet. Now I've got to add the dimple. That's important to add that. <laughs> he wouldn't be Kirk Douglas if he didn't have that little dimple there. The little cleft of the chin. Ding, 
case you're wondering, these tunes I'm using today are from YouTube, YouTube's uh, library. And I have to I have to give them credit. Um, they've really improved on some of the tunes they've got. Not that the tunes they had were bad, um, but they they were not updating. They were not adding new uh, new ones. But lately they've been adding some really really good new ones. And if you haven't already noticed, do check out their tunes as much as possible because every so often because they do. I don't know how often they do it, but I know that they do add new tunes all the time. So it's worth checking out if you haven't already. Right, so now I'm just adding a bit more. Because I'm not adding too much detail, I'm just trying to get the refine the shape the initial shapes more. There's one thing I've learned in my drawing journey is you've got to try and you, you don't you've got to keep developing your skills and keep working at, at ways of, of getting from A to B that little bit far not a little bit faster but just, just a little bit easier just constantly adjusting and, and change you know developing your your style or whatever probably not making sense but Because if you draw things the same way that you did when you were at school, you'll never grow. You know, if you, if you, for example, if you draw Spider-Man and you've drawn that same Spider-Man 50 million times, and you never try to either change the pose, change the out, change the style, um, change the, you know, the method, even the method in, in how you draw it, if you don't do that, you'll never actually grow. You'll actually just be You'll get good at doing it that way, but you won't actually, um, you won't actually improve. You'll just have the same, you know, the same version of Spider-Man that you've always done. This might not be a perfect representation of his face, but I am happy with how it's coming along so far. That in. Move that a bit. Because he's kind of got a bit more of a mean face, he's like he's grimacing a bit. In fact, that eye is slightly more elevated. Looking at it. As I said, it's not may not be the perfect likeness so far, but I can definitely see at least some aspect of him there. I 
about think perhaps the eyes too far over perhaps which might be why it feels a bit odd We'll try and bring the eye in a little bit. So I'm just slowly bringing it in. Again, I'm trying not to go too deep into it because I may have to make adjustments as I go along. I don't want to get to the point where I've got so much detail in and I can't get rid of it. I did like uh, Kurt Gluck was, I did like him. I, I liked it. Loved his charisma, charisma in terms of his character and stuff like that. I'm just re at this stage I'm just reconcentrating really just trying to get the eyes and the face the way I need way it needs to be. So it might take a little while to get it 100% the way I need it, but and I'll probably finish do some more of this work on my Twitch channel tomorrow. So if you are around and you and you do have a Twitch account, or if you don't, um, just go into one of my links and go to the Twitch account, and you'll see me maybe carrying this on tomorrow. All things going well. Right, I have to say, although this is not a perfect likeness, I definitely feel like I've captured some aspects of him. I think the chin might be a bit too big, so I just need to switch, small it down a bit. But there is, I definitely see some essence of him there. So let's just try and slim his face up a little bit. See, that's already, I think, made a difference. Shoulder bone there. Mm. 
important thing I'm, I'm learning and, and learning and learning and relearning and everything else is you've got to constantly refine everything you're doing. Um, it's easy to get frustrated when things don't, <coughs> when you do it first time round and the hand doesn't quite look right or the, the head doesn't look right. It's easy to get flustered and frustrated because it's not gelling the way you want it to gel. But it's important to remember that you, you you have all the time in the world to do it. You don't. There's no rush, unless unless you're specifically given a deadline to do something. There's actually no rush to do it. There's no reason to try and you know um, do it perfect the first time around. Especially if you're doing it in your own house, you don't need to even worry. Eventually you'll get it. Eventually you'll get there. So just be patient. Take your time, don't rush it, you will get there. I mean, if I, I'll be honest with you, this one I'm doing right now, I'm being quite bold attempting this because I say a portrait is not my thing. I've done two jokers, the first one was okay, the second one was a lot better but it was frustrating because again my anatomy was not anywhere near it that it is now it's not perfect still but I'm still you know still a work in progress but I'm confident enough in my anatomy skills now that I can attempt something like this but I wouldn't if, if I was to ask, be asked to do this or expected to do this a few months ago or a couple of years ago I probably wouldn't have wanted to do it I would it was the last thing I would have wanted to, to attempt because I knew that I wouldn't be able to do a good job of it but at least now you know that I've gained, I've gained enough confidence in my, in my skill level that that I think I can tackle something like this. And do, a, if not a perfect job, at least an okay enough job. That I feel like it's worth a go. You know what I mean? It's definitely not what I mean, but. I'm quite pleased with how this is coming along actually. It's coming along quite well I think. I know I'm saying it myself but I do think it's coming along rather nicely. Okay. Now I say it's not well defined in terms of the muscles but there is definitely muscle there which I can see so I need to make sure I do it and the one thing I'm not going to do I know I should, probably should but I'm not going to do the these areas here <laughs> I'm not going to add them on although you know someone might say oh you should be adding it but it's like well I'm not I'm not going to because because I know people will get focused on oh you you've got that oh he's got thingy me jiggies he's got raspberry ripples what's going on But I am not going to do that. Are you entertained? Are you not entertained? Right. Okay, so starting to add, I'll say, you can see I'm starting to add a bit of detail now. So you can, should be to start seeing some information on here. And in fact, I'm going to just add a little bit of um, detail to show that it's not completely straight and flat. Right now. This is where it gets a bit tricky because. Um, you got to put the thumbs in, but sometimes when you put the thumbs in, it indicates that it, you can sometimes lose, at least I've found anyway, lose some of the emphasis on what you're, or the part you're trying to, you know, draw or whatever.
oh, what look might look cool in the initial sort of stages might not necessarily look cool at the end. But even at this stage, you've got to keep it loose because you're going to have to refine it all the time. You're not; it's ne never going to be exact the whole the whole way through. You've got to. These things take; they do take time to develop. You've got to you've got to allow the picture to develop itself, so to speak. Yeah, but don't get to you know if you are the sort of person that gives up when it doesn't quite work. Don't just just. Give it, give it time. Whatever you're doing, give it, give it time to breathe. Because I'll tell you something from experience: there are going to be times when the drawing is actually going to draw itself. Almost. That might sound like a weird thing to say, but I've had a few occasions when I'm drawing something. In my head, I've got this one initial idea, but as I'm creating it, something else is kind of happening. The draw is going in a different direction. And it kind of tells you where you should go. Right, okay, so now now I can see where this is going. I can bring this arm down a bit more now. Um, Um, we don't want to make his arm too thin, but I also don't want to make it too thick because because they're not the arms are not massively thick. As I said, it, there is muscle there, but it's not like it's not Hulk level muscle. You know what I mean? It's not quite that that defined. You know. But it is there. Now I'm starting to really see the shapes of the character now. So he doesn't have a particularly, you know, large nose in in that sense. It's very, it's very slim. Very sh he's got like a very sharp kind of nose. The eye looks a bit too cartoony, so let's just um, tone that down a bit. <coughs> I think maybe it's just doing the pupils just a bit too large, perhaps. Thank you. 
bit better. I'm not completely satisfied with this part of the nose here. I mean, you can't really see it, but to be fair, but. Still not really feeling the nose right now. That's feeling a bit better. more like it. Still think the eye is slightly too far over. Let me get rid of that pupil a second. I get these points where I just get really refocused and um, kind of make sure I get the get his eye looking the way it should. Still not 
quite right. It all feels the, the, the left eye, or the right eye rather, looks almost like it's squinting a bit. That's it, it kind of looks a little light. Just trying to get that. Balance right on it. not perfect lightness but what can you do what can you do I wasn't expecting to get perfect lightness but it was just really to trust try and see if I can honor this guy with a re respectable piece okay I'll tell you what I'm going to start doing I think just going to start adding in some of the detail now terms of the outfit. Like I would, what is it? It's 520. So you're going in for about an hour hour and twenty minutes, that's not too bad for an hour and twenty minutes. So we've got this little leather thing here. And then another segment there. Linked by some kind of ring. Obviously, this is a gladiator. You know, I think it goes without saying this is a gladiator type outfit. I know it seems like I'm, it feels like I'm doing a lot more work on this to get it right, but I want to make sure it fits in the body and it looks looks proper. Now the chainmail is going to be the toughest part, or well, certainly one of the toughest parts. All right, so they're like loops. Almost look like um, handcuffs. Also, this is the part that's gonna take the longest as well. This bit's gonna. This part's gonna be very tedious. Very, very tedious. This is one of those moments where you think, oh, was this really a good idea to do this? <laughs> Oh, 
kind of can without it. So that we can't see the last. No, we can see the whole point of the video on camera. There you go. Is that better? A little better, isn't it? Right, okay. So let me try and simplify it. Not simplify it, but just makes it a little, little easier for myself. Working out where the rings fit. So if I do this. Then at least I can give myself a bit of artistic license and put them where I feel that I need to go. Because obviously this part here is where they're going to be clumped together a bit. Again here, same thing. This is this is one. Of, this is quite important because um, most people who um, will start either starting art or or then or just um, you know be into it and uh, like me, uh, I, I'm good at this. Will take a drawing where you see lots of little chainmail bits. Um, like this, uh, let me just try and show you the camera. See all these little chain mail pieces here, and we'll literally draw it right. Okay, so there's one going that way, draw it like that, uh, and there's one going like that way. And, and you draw it really carefully, each individual one. But by the time you get to here, you realize one of those keep it's wrong, it's going in the wrong direction, it's going in various different one ways, what well, one or two way tracks, and it's not going where you need to. Whereas if you do what I'm doing here, you're at least giving yourself a bit of a guide as to roughly where they're going to fit before you start doing it. And then you just, as you refine it more and more, that's when you start to pull it together and start making it a bit more um, detailed and, and accurate, you know what I mean? Um, on a different note, I did try to get the headphones working. They were working earlier, earlier, and they've been working on the, on the recordings I've been doing. But for some reason, I couldn't get them to work on the stream. So I do apologise that I wasn't able to do that because using the the, the camera for um, mic, although it's not bad, it's it's not great. It's not good for streaming because you don't get you know really clear you know that clear of a voice on it. So. Um, so I do apologise for that. I definitely don't want that to be, you know, to be a thing. I don't want that to really cause a problem with the stream. You know, I want you to be able to hear what I'm what I'm saying. But you'll get better. It's just you just get better sound with proper headphones. With a proper headset, you just get a better tone, a better sound. It's clearer, and all the rest of it. Now you can see on here as I'm doing this, they are overlapping a bit, but that's okay because that's kind of the point of what I'm doing here. Is it's showing me that these overlap? When I get down here, it won't be so bad because it'll it'll be a little bit more, it'll be more separate. But at the moment, they're kind of overlapping a little bit. Although I've probably drawn a bit too big on those ones, but there you go. Um, and so if you are watching live on, on this channel, feel free to say hi, join and uh, build a conversation, I'm fine with that, you're not going to be distracting me at all, so don't worry. This will probably take a few streams before I finish this anyway. 
and what I'll probably do at the end of the stream as well is I'll probably take um, take this one down and re-upload it but with a slight edit in the sense of just editing all the gaps whatever take any breaks and stuff like that so you just get a straight um, drawing Yeah, but don't do not do not feel afraid to say hello. Again, change the overlapping because it's get increased. On here, so I'm going to try and angle these ones a little bit because it's going a different direction. So I'm trying to emphasize that it's not straightforward. I mean, the ones that are hidden at the back, they're going to, they're probably going to get hidden anyway. So I'm not going to stress too much about those. There are going to be some that are going to be just off the edge, kind of hidden away. We can do those as we go along. I think, so I think today, the, the first part today will just be me layering all this in, detailing as much as I can, and then the second um, stream will, that I do on this next week will be me just, or even tomorrow, will be me adding a bit more detail. So I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to go on for today. As I say it's been, been an hour already, so... So it's gone, gone on quite, quite a while, so it's fine. Which is okay. I say the important thing about doing this sort of stuff is just to keep, um, you know. Keep it loose right until you've got to the point where everything's in the right place as much as you can possibly get it. You're not going to get it 100% perfect the first few times because, especially if you're new and you're developing or whatever, it's not going to be, you know, all, not always going to get 100%. But you could, if you keep it loose until you're, you get to a point where, where it actually feels like, yeah, it looks, looks right, then you can start sort of worrying about layering your heavy detail getting it really really refined see like even here I'm just starting to add a little bit of hairline I do think it is making a difference. It's making it feel like a Kirk, a Kirk Douglas piece uh, picture. I think I've got the air a bit too high up. 
This is why you need to keep these things loo as loose as you can. So let's remove some of that ear there. That's the old bell. I am quite pleased at how far we how this is doing actually. I'm definitely feeling this. I'll probably get to a point later on where I'm like, oh, I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> I guarantee you I'll, I'll get to that point where it's like I don't want to do no more. I'm done. I'm finished. But we're not there yet. We're in the early stages. So I'm just now just adding a bit of detail to the rings. Nothing too, again, nothing too strenuous. Just trying to make them round. I look like rings that are linked together. Still pretty windy in London at the moment. Now, how are they actually linked together? Oh, they are actually double linked. So they kind of like into some sort of bar. Oh, what right, the bar actually goes over it. Okay. So it's that kind of a bar. Okay. How are we all doing out there? Bit of coffee, very nice. This bit's the tedious bit. It's just about link after link after link after link. I will say this though, doing stuff, doing links and things like that is very good if I'm. I mean, right now it doesn't matter, but but things like this, if I'm feeling pretty stressed about something, I find doing little details like this can can have its benefits, can have its. Uh, can be very therapeutic so because I'm having to do this not so much but it but it can do that 
link goes wrong. What I might do is I might take a little bit of a, a small break in a minute. Do a toilet break, break and everything. Just to relax my brain for a few moments. Have a little stretch. Anyway, let's uh, carry on. Let's try and get as much of this done as we can. But I'm not rushing it. I want to take my time with this. And that's the other thing as well is when you're doing art, don't don't ever rush it. Don't ever try and feel like you have to do it in a certain time. It's different if you've got to do it for commission because there's a certain, usually there's some kind of deadline on it. But even then, um, even with that, th there's only so much you can be, you can expect you're doing in a short space of time. Uh, sometimes clients can be quite unreasonable in what they're expecting. They expect something to be done in two weeks, and the piece that you might be asking them to do may not be a simple, simple drawing. It's, and it's just educating them to to sort of say, you know. These things take time. They, they're not they, they're not an overnight job. Um, but um, but yeah, but don't don't you know don't ever rush your artwork. It's better that you do it well, and and the, and, it, and it's even if it is a client work, especially if it's client work, it's better that you do it well, that both you and the client are happy with it than you rushing it, doing it badly. They might still, you know, you might be lucky and they'll they'll like what you're doing but you will never be satisfied because you will feel like but I could I did I didn't do a very good job of it so always do the best job you can and take your time don't rush it if it's not gonna you know it's not gonna happen in two weeks you know let let the client know or let the person know that it's gonna take two weeks and if it takes longer keep just keep them you know, just keep them, you know, give them a heads up. Make sure that you're keeping them in the loop. So if it's taking a little bit longer than, than planned, just tell them. As long as they know you're still working on it, that's you know they need that reassurance. Obviously, don't take too long. Don't don't take take the biscuit and really milk milk the time frame. Do it do it as quickly as you can. But what I'm saying is don't don't rush the artwork just to get it out there, and and. And scrimp on anything because you'll never feel satisfied with that and it might even you know if you do particularly bad bad artwork it might even bite you in the foot later so don't don't ever you know scrimp on anything For some reason, my actual uh, YouTube is being rather slow. There we go. There we go. This is as tedious as drawing scales on a dragon. I love dragons. They're one of my, particularly when I'm stressed, they're one of my go to creatures to draw. But drawing scales, man, tedious. But sometimes. To get a good drawing done well, you sometimes have to put that extra effort in, bit in areas you don't really want to. You know, sometimes you get to a point where even when you're doing that, like this, you actually can start to enjoy it before you realise it. Especially as you see it starting to develop, it starts to take shape. And in some cases, you might even find that you have a develop a bit of a technique for it to do it that a little bit quicker 
Now the good news is once I get to a certain point to this, I won't have to do all of these little segments because they'll be hidden by the by the chains on top, which is why I started here rather than from the top. So has anyone been watching Picard by any chance? Who's, if anyone's there. Really, really enjoying the show. And I'm not going to give spoilers. But um, I am sure that Jamie would have something to say about what Seven of Nine has been doing, been up to. That's all I'm going to say on it. But she's done really well though. It's really good to see her in the show actually. And it's not a spoiler because it was even, you know, when, even in all the interviews and stuff. So everybody know, you know, it has been highly publicised that she's in, she's in the show. But I've, I've been quite impressed with it so far. Quite impressed. But also surprised at the same time because it's not a typical Star Trek. So if you're one of these purest Star Trek people, you might may not like everything in it. I'm going to say that. You know, if you're someone that really feels that it should be a certain way, which I I'm one of them, um, you may like not may not like some of the way that the direction is going. But that said, it's actually not bad. I personally think it's better than Discovery. You know. Discovery had a lot of controversy about it and stuff like that, but now Discovery is good as a show, but I can't really take it as a, to me it's not a Star Trek show, it doesn't feel Star Trek at all, it doesn't, just because it's got, it's Star Trek by name, it doesn't necessarily mean it's got that element, the essence of Star Trek, and I don't feel it's, it's that at all, I genuinely don't feel that, that it can really call itself Star Trek it just does not in any way shape or form feel like a Star Trek series but Picard does 100% fit into it it's a bit more controversial than what it would normally be dealing with issues that you know in ways that, that they've not done it before in a Star Trek show but but it feels like it's a Star Trek show regardless you know it does feel it does fit very nicely into into the um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, into the Star Trek universe, you know what I mean? You see, <coughs> here's where, where I'm starting. You know, what I was saying earlier about. Um, doing these channels it will get points where it will feel you're not quite so doesn't feel quite so so uh, irritating you know tedious this is one of those elements now I'm not drawing as many rings on these ones because they're hidden and stuff like that but the fact that you know you can't see them it's changed the way this process has been for this next section because now I'm adding a bit of variety to them Being drawn in a different direction, and it's kind of twisting and turning and getting hidden behind other rings. In a nutshell, it's made the ring drawing the rings about a little bit more interesting than it has been up to this stage. It'll get the same, go back to being not quite so interesting in the moment. But because the rings are being hidden and stuff like that, it doesn't feel so bad, you know.
you know, the more I'm looking at this this face, the more it's feeling more like the Kirk Douglas that I'm aware of. I think you need to just slim that chin down just a smidge. Because I feel like it's just still slightly. There we go. Oh, now, do you know what? Funny enough, that's actually giving him the Kirk Douglas face. Yeah, literally, while I was taking a break, um, I literally found out that one of the monkeys has now passed away. Uh, Peter talks, and now two of them have sadly departed. I think the last guy, I think, was the English guy, Davy Davy Jones, if I remember rightly. But now, um, sadly, Peter talks. He was my favourite as well. He was my favourite monkey. Um, I liked him, you know. He was my favourite character from the uh, from the show. But yeah, it's really sad. He was seventy-seven, apparently. So. No, not a young man, but not an, not particularly old either. But yeah, it's always sad when you hear hear of people. Um, you know, leaving, for want of a better word. I mean, obviously these things happen. It's it's life. You know, it's one of those things that we just have to accept that it happens to all of us. But. Um, but it doesn't take away the fact that it's sad, you know. Especially when it's somebody you, you know. Sometimes you think of, uh, you think of people that are going to be there and you think they're going to be there forever, but they're not. You know, they're just not. No, nobody lives forever. And carbon freezing, it's really pointless. Why are you carbon freezing yourself? The only, I think, the only way, real, realistically, that you might be able to, to live forever, so to speak, almost, is if. Um, you know, you're able to put some, your, somehow put your consciousness into a device or something, but other than that, it's not really going to happen. It's not really going to be a thing, really. It, we've got we've got to accept that. So yeah, um, rest in peace to Peter. Absolutely love the monkeys' music. I know they were a band that were um, generated. So I don't look at the camera very often. I do apologise. Uh, I know that they, they are a band that were generated off, off the back of the Beatles and the American Beatles so to speak but they were still good and the tunes they did were brilliant they were catchy ch songs you know they were chart toppers they, and they did a great job and they were and they kind of a, had a bit of a laugh as well you know there's not many bands out there that had you know just had a bit of a laugh that these guys did So uh, yeah, sad. Another another monkey's gone. Now I did hear a YouTuber say, and I, I and I think um, I haven't seen any actual articles about it. So you know, if you are watching or whatever, he was saying, um, oh, it's sad that um, what's his face is uh, Jeff Goldblum's gone. And I don't think that's the case. I may be wrong, but I don't think that's the case. I did check, and it doesn't seem like that's happened. But but he might have just been just having a bit of a bubble, uh, you know, having a bit of a laugh. But I don't think, personally think saying somebody such and such is dead or whatever. I don't think that's particularly funny myself. But that's my personal um, conviction on it. You know, people. <laughs> Death, de death is uh, not really a laughing matter. Not that much of a laughing matter, really, if, you, if to be perfectly honest. So when you're saying that, so, you know, people have passed away that haven't, I just find that uh, I don't like that. But that, again, that's a personal thing for me. You know, as long as people know that you're, you, it's in jest, it's, I suppose it's all right. But, but to actually go out and, you know, send messages saying oh, such and such has passed away when they when they actually haven't, and get you know, like, and getting people believing it, I think that's that's disgusting. I just think that's a terrible practice, and whoever does these things need to 
really get a, get a grip on themselves a bit. Because that's just not on. That is not on. On that note, did, um, I don't know if anyone knows, but um, you know the Jim Carrey? I don't think you realise, but he actually was in uh, the film called Deadpool. Not the Marvel Deadpool that we're all more familiar with right now, but Deadpool with um, Har uh, the Dirty Harry movie from um, from the late 80s. But yeah, he, Jim Carrey was uh, one of the first guys that got popped <laughs> in the movie. And that was the first time I'd ever seen, well, first I'd ever seen Jim, and K Jim Carrey, and also the first time I'd seen him in a serious role. You know, all right, he was playing a bit of a drug addict and stuff like that but it was still basically a, a serious role he was still playing a proper character he wasn't just hamming it up like he does I, I, say, I don't have a problem with him hamming up because I, li I like that kind of humour I like his I actually like his kind of humour I do uh, you know I know some people don't but I do find him quite funny whereas there are other actors which I'm not going to say right now who to me are not as funny nowhere near as funny as Kerry Jim cracks me up but I said I think part, partly because I have the similar sort of sense of humour that he has so he matches my style of humour see now I've got with this um, chain mail well, I don't think you can call it chain mail necessarily because it's a very different kind of Chains. That's what, well, it's chainmail because it's chainmail is chains linked together. So yeah, it's chainmail. But I don't think it's actually called that in this particular style. But um, now that I've got to this point of the arm, it's starting to look interesting enough for me to want to develop it and and refine it and stuff like that. Now, obviously, if I'm using Photoshop or one of those things, I could just do either have a link brush or just draw a link and then just adjust each one to match but um, it's not that kind of a drawing unfortunately If I, if I do say so myself. We need to blend the door shut. <laughs> finished on the chains so as I once I've finished these chains I'm going to be looking at uh, calling it a day but I want to get these finished at least get this done But I'm glad I got the YouTube actually working because it was because before when I was doing this last week I was only able to get the top camera down so um, working I couldn't get the other camera working so I got this other camera working now I can't get the microphone <laughs> working so I can't win so either have my a decent microphone or a decent camera so I think what I'll do next time is if that if I do have the same issue next week um, I'm going to have wear a headset and record. Um, I brought my boys separately so that um, 
at least I've got a reasonably decent recording of the stream that I can overcut that I can um, add to the video later. Almost there with the chains. Almost. I don't know about anybody, you, if any, any of you out there, other artists get to ever have this, but um, you get to a point where you, you, you've drawn the drawing so long, and you're like, oh, I don't want to do anymore. <laughs> I, I've done enough. But you know it's. Not, but the thing is, you know it's not finished. But you just can't do it. You can't go any further on that particular piece. You, you're kind of done. I'm not there yet, but I'm very close to it. But that's not to say I'm not going to come back and finish it if once I've done it. It just means that I'm at the point where. You know, I don't want to. Don't want to work on it on it, on it anymore. Today. Right, last last three or four. And then we're done. So as I said, if you are watching this uh, either now or on repeat, I'm gonna try and do some more at the next part of this tomorrow on my Twitch channel. So do tune into that. Um, there are there will be um, links in the description below after this video is finished. Although I am planning to take this video down and re-upload it. Uh, with a few, you know, some minor edits just to make it a little shorter and also remove anything that's not really relevant. And then what I'll probably do is watch a film. I haven't watched a film in ages where I've just sat down and just enjoyed a movie. So that would be cool to do that. So it's almost done. At least on this bit. So the last thing I'm going to kind of do today is just refine the leather a little bit. Because I want to kind of make it clear that it's, you know, it's linked on a, on a ring or a chain. Good. And then the last one. Let's just do a little bit more emphasis on the hair so that 
I can at least have a relatively, not finished piece, but it's a good end, it's, it's ended on a good level. But um, I do recommend, you know, if you, if you are, are interested, I would recommend watching some of his movies. I say I particularly like The Vikings. Um, I don't know if it was one of his most, you know, most recognised ones or whatever, whether people, but I know it's certainly for me one of my favourite ones to watch. I don't mind watching it. And uh, I can't think of the other guy's name. There was another guy in it, just um, in the same, it was around the same sort of era. It's this guy. And I can't right now think of who he is. But he's a similar sort of character, in you know, still again, as with as with Kirk, got quite quite a bit of charisma. Do, usually plays quite the the handsome boy. Kirk Kirk does play a lot of villains. Obviously in this one, I don't think he's so much of a villain. I don't think. Um, but um, but they're both they're both very much the charmers. In fact, if I remember right, Kirk Douglas even did a film called Cactus Jack, which is actually a comedy, now thinking about it, which at the time, I actually liked Cactus Jack, I actually thought it was quite funny, but um, I watched it a little bit later in my life and it was like, oh, <laughs> not, not his finest work, but you know, if you are interested in that, worth, worth checking out. Right, so let me get my reference again. little areas oh now it's now it's really starting to feel like this chap there we go Mess up his chin a little bit there. I just want to, you know, leave this on a really good, on a really good place. As the lightning is going, I'm quite pleased with how this has come out. Actually, I, I know I'm saying this a lot, but um, portraits are not my. As I said to you before, portraits are not my, uh, my, you know, my best um, skill. But I'm really kind of pleased that this has come out the way it has. I definitely feel like it's, at the very least. You know, I've caught the essence of this guy. You know, I've caught the basic essence of Mr. Douglas. Particularly the mouth.
because both him and his son, Doug, Michael Douglas, they have very, very piercing eyes. I don't know if you ever noticed. You know, they're very, very like. almost in your face eyes. In fact, that eye feels too big now. Which is what makes them stand out a little bit. Now I'm looking at it, I think this pupil is a bit too big as well. So let's try and make that just a smidge smaller. I know I'm getting very silent right now. That's what happens when I get into concentration mode. It's not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. If I do say so myself. Alright. Let's just do a few final little tweaks here and there. Nothing too drastic. trying to do it enough so that you can see at least where I'm at and I can show you
say a few little things here. All right, I think I think this is where we're going to stop for now. So let me quickly show you. Let me see, try and see if you can see this really clearly. So this is the uh, the stage one. Now, in comparison, this is what the uh, the actual piece was. I say it's not it's not a perfect likeness, but the nose probably needs to be a bit longer still because he's got quite a long, sharp nose. But um, considering I'm not. It's not my, you know, my not my strong suit doing, um, you know, portraits and stuff like that. I'm quite pleased with how this has gone so far. So, um, yeah, I just want to thank you very much for joining. I do appreciate you taking part in the stream or those who have joined, whether you're watching now or you're watching afterwards. Couple uh, again, I I have a, a a goal of just hitting my first 50 subscribers. And once I get to that point, I'm going to do a special stream where you guys can throw your ideas at me of things you would like me to try and draw, just simple things. And I will do my level best to try and recreate those things you're suggesting. So I, I keep forgetting I've got a camera now. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I've actually got, you know, I've actually got, um, you know, you over there. Um, yeah, so that's that's the sort of the plan. So once I hit that fifty, going to do a, a live stream where you can basically throw your ideas up, and I will try and draw them. If no one joins in and there's no one there, then what I'll do is I will actually just, you know, I've got a little um, a, a game where I can actually um, choose random pictures as well. So either way, I'm going to do something. It is going to be a random uh, art drawing stream, and hopefully you guys will join me there for that. Um, but obviously I need to hit that 50 so your support will be great and don't forget the notification bell whenever you uh, um, leave this channel today so that you're always kept up to date when I do become live or I have a video coming out soon um, but thank you very much for joining I thank I really appreciate you taking the time I say watching this video now or afterwards and until then until I see you again I'll catch you later bye <laughs>